Dealing with the loss of a loved one is an extremely difficult thing for anyone to endure, and it's certainly a pivotal life event when a child or a teenager loses a parent or caretaker. This morning, Dr. Donna Sherman joins us to talk about her work with grieving children and families and her book, Never the Same, Coming to Terms with the Death of a Parent. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Dr. Sherman. It's my privilege to be here. Now, this is a very uh, difficult subject to talk about, and one that you say we don't deal well with, uh, particularly in this country. Why do you think it is that uh, teachers, uh, family members, friends, even uh, therapists are, are ill pre prepared, if you will, to, to deal with grieving children, to help grieving children? I think there are several things. One is that we have a general fear of death mm. in, in our society. And another is that there's not a lot of training. Even psychology programs, psychologists, school counselors, people that you think would be trained aren't required and often don't even have courses in grief and loss, death and dying. And when it comes to children specifically, it's, it's kind of like the fear of talking to children about sex. People just get uncertain. They don't have the words. They don't know how to do it. And so they don't do it very well. Often. What, do you, what do you think it is? That leads me to my next question. What do you think it is that we are doing poorly when trying to help a child? Well, I think one of the things we try to do is certainly we don't want to see them in pain. Right. Nobody wants to see a child in pain. So we want to maybe make them not feel as bad or try to take their pain away. Or, and what that often does is minimizes what they're going through. And often what that does for them for children, for teenagers, is wanting to withdraw from people because they don't get it. As they, as these children age, if they aren't dealt with appropriately or dealt with well when they experience a death, how do, does that affect them as they age into adulthood? There are a lot of different ways that it may affect them. For example, children who have a parent die at an early age or teenage are more at risk for things like depression, for anxiety, for hopelessness, mm -hmm. uh, fear about the future, relationship issues. It doesn't mean that they're fated to experience those things, but they're more at risk. And so if we don't help them along the way to integrate, not to get over a death, but to integrate the memory of that person, to find meaning. Mm -hmm. uh, even two-year-olds want to make meaning out of things. That's why they're saying, why, 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 all the time. They're trying to understand. Right. And when people are just saying you shouldn't feel that way or you need to get over this or you need to put that behind you, all it does is have them stuff it in. Right. And eventually that stuffed in comes out. In and one it, way or another. In one way or another and not always in constructive ways. Now you're the executive director of the Dougie Center for Grieving Children and Families. Yes. How do you um, and how does your organization help families, particularly young people? We provide peer support groups for children and their, and their parents who are grieving the death of a parent, sibling, or in the case of teens, best friend or friends. We, have, we start with three-year-olds. And what we do is the groups are by age and to some degree type of death. So children are together and teens are together by age. And one of the things that helps to do is to normalize hey, you look okay, you're not crazy just because your father died, mm -hmm. or you don't have a big D for death carved on your forehead. And kids can talk to each other in ways that they can help process what they're going through. So we, the groups are open-ended, families come for as long as they need to. Oh, wow. Is it possible to turn such a negative uh, as losing a parent or a caretaker into something that is a positive for their lives? Absolutely. Um, it can be. It's not a given and it doesn't happen automatically. We talk about how children are resilient, but they're not resilient in a vacuum. Yeah. They're factors that help build resilience. So it can be transformed. You know, for example, we hear a lot about post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. We don't hear enough about post-traumatic growth. And there actually are ways that children and adults can transform horrible, painful experiences into meaning, into deeper caring about people, into understanding what matters in life. But it doesn't just happen automatically. I so appreciate you being here this morning. Again, a difficult subject to talk about, but we appreciate all the information that you've given us. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Now, if you would like more information about Dr. Donna Sherman or the Dougie Center for Grieving Children and Families, go to the website Dougie.org.